I've been investigating the death of Elizabeth Membry for some time, and as a result of those investigations, I need to speak to you about any involvement you had. What I'd like you to do now is to tell me everything you know about the death of Elizabeth Memory, yep. in as much detail as you can. Everything's important to us. We need to know, however insignificant it may seem to you, we just want to know everything you know about it. Uh, it's just basically from what I knew from the news. I think I might have met her once. I used to drink at the Manhattan Hotel, uh, mainly on Fridays and now and then on Saturdays. Uh, I had half a dozen odd friends that drank there as well. Did you murder Elizabeth Memory? No, I did. Is that the truth? Yes. Do you want me to believe that? Yes. Can you tell me why? Give me a reason why I should believe that. One, because I didn't do it. Two, I might have known her as a barmaid once or twice, and that's it. You know, I'd ask you a question. Whilst you're living in New Street, did you ever go home on any occasion covered in blood and you said, no, not that you can recall? No. Right. As we said, we've spoken to um, several witnesses and one of them is uh, yeah. And you're aware that um, Tim went and um, took a statement off last year, September or something last year. Have you had a conversation with about that statement? So what, since you've seen him? Mm. Yeah. yeah. He was the one who rang me up. After you left. And what was the conversation about? And he said, oh, the cops have just come to see me about the Elizabeth Membry thing. Did he tell you what he put in his statement? No, he mentioned that. I, was, I cracked the shits again when I said... Why did you crack the shits? Because I was sick and tired of, it, of having this <coughs> against me. That's why I've cracked the shits. But from my recollection, it goes something like this that he says that you um, drank at the Manhattan Hotel and... and he didn't even know me. You let me finish. Yeah. Oh. That you drank at the Manhattan Hotel and that uh, you would have known Elizabeth. And your reply to that is something like, you fucking idiot, why'd you say that? You should have said I didn't drink there. You should have said I didn't know it. Now why would you say that? Because I'm sick and tired, because he is the worst person you could <coughs> ever ask about anything. So is it a case that everyone that we speak to is a bad person? Well, go and ask someone no, no. I mean, ask the right people. Well, I am. And as I said, this girl that's at the Manhattan Hotel has got no axe to grind with anyone, says, listen, Elizabeth came to me four to five days, maybe a week maximum, and said, I'm having trouble with this guy who wants to take me out. He won't take no for an answer. And... <clears throat> The girl says, oh, who is it? And Elizabeth says, it's Shane Bond. Now, why would she say that? One, I've got no idea. And two, this is getting beyond a joke. No, I didn't do it. Well, there's evidence um, which indicates that uh, you were asking Elizabeth memory out. What do you say to that? Not true. There's evidence to indicate that you were um, <coughs> harassing her and that you wouldn't take no for an answer. What do you say to that? Not true, because I don't think I was there. <coughs> There's evidence to indicate that on the night of uh, the 6th of December, early hours of the 7th of December, you came home um, covered in blood. What do you say to that? Not true. There's evidence which indicates that uh, the, following <coughs> the following day, you make a comment I'm in trouble over Elizabeth memory and I have to go. What do you say to that? Not true. There's evidence that on the 8th of December 1994, uh, your Medicare card is used in Caboolture, which is consistent with the witness saying that you had to go. Oh, it's not true. I just, I can't even, there's it, there's I need to know, the only time I've ever been back up towards that way I've caught planes there. So there's evidence from a witness which indicates that a car, similar to your description, the white car, was seen in the driveway of Elizabeth Memories at 1.30 a.m. on the 7th of December 1994. Well, it wasn't mine. There's also evidence to indicate that the fact that you were at the Manhattan Hotel on the night of the 6th of December 1994. 
Well, I can't remember if I was there or not. That's all I'm saying.